Dams. A dam is a structure built on rivers and streams for the purpose of conserving water. It has been in existence for many centuries and has been used by civilizations to funnel water through cities and agricultural fields. Dams are not only used to prevent floods, but also to regulate the flow of water in rivers as reservoirs, facilitate irrigation, and generate energy. They provide various social, economic, and environmental benefits to a country. In fact, dams have been a spectacular feat of infrastructure since the 4th century BC and have been utilized by civilizations all over the world, including India. How are dams built? A dam is a structure constructed across a river or stream with the primary purpose of holding back water. Over the centuries, different materials have been used to build dams. In ancient times, natural materials like clay or rocks were commonly used to build dams, while modern builders now use concrete. Man-made dams create artificial lakes, also known as reservoirs, which are utilized to store water for various purposes such as housing, industry, and farming. Dams also provide recreational opportunities such as boating, swimming, and fishing. The Mesopotamians were the first people to build a dam. The world's oldest known dam is the Java Dam, built in the 4th century BC in present-day Jordan. Dams are particularly helpful to farmers as they provide a reliable source of water, which greatly improves crop irrigation. In populous countries like India, dams are crucial for feeding a growing population. However, dam construction can have negative impacts on the environment. It can cause significant changes to the habitat, such as biological, physical, chemical, or temperature changes, which can attract invasive species and harm native aquatic life. Dam construction can also increase the incidence of disasters like erosion, landslides, and earthquakes, and in some instances, dam collapse can lead to major catastrophes like hurricanes. Advantages of dams There are some tremendous advantages that come with dams in India and elsewhere. Moreover, this makes it clear that why governments invest so much money into their construction. Some of the benefits of building a dam are With the assistance of hydroelectric power, the generation of electricity takes place at a steady rate. For the preservation of water For irrigation or other activities, the reservoir built behind may also be used. The buildup of water within the lake is ensured when required. They facilitate storing energy when the release of water takes place for electricity production. The electricity generated by the dams minimizes the production of greenhouse gases. What are the various types of dams on the basis of structure? On the basis of structure, the dams are of the following types. Arch dam. Arch dams are curved structures that transfer the water load to the abutments, resembling a curved arch. They are typically constructed in narrow canyons where the abutments can support the load. Gravity Dam Gravity dams are massive structures that rely on their weight and the force of gravity to resist the horizontal pressure of water. They are usually made of concrete and are suitable for wide valleys. Arch Gravity Dam Arch gravity dams combine features of both arch and gravity dams. They have an arched shape but their weight also contributes to resisting the water pressure. Barrage Dam Barrage dams are low-height structures built across rivers to control water flow and create reservoirs. They are often used for irrigation and water supply. Embankment Dam Embankment dams are constructed using natural materials like soil, rock, or sand. They are built in layers, with each layer compacted to prevent water seepage. Fixed Crest Dam A fixed crest dam is a low dam with a fixed, non-adjustable crest. They are often used for flow regulation and sediment control. Earth Fill Dam Earth Fill Dams are a type of embankment dam where the main material used is earth. They are cost-effective and commonly used for various purposes. Concrete Face Rock Fill Dam These dams combine elements of rock fill and concrete construction. A concrete facing is added to the upstream side to provide additional strength and water tightness. Rockfill Embankment Dam 
rock fill embankment dams are built using a combination of rock and earth. They use rock for the central core and outer layers, providing stability. What are the various functions of dams? Power generation. Dams are often built to harness the energy of flowing water for hydroelectric power generation. Water flowing through or over the dam turns turbines connected to generators, producing electricity. Stabilizing water flows. Dams help regulate the flow of rivers by storing water during periods of excess and releasing it during dry periods. This stabilization benefits downstream ecosystems, agriculture, and water users. Water supply. Dams store water, providing a reliable supply for various purposes, including municipal water supply, industrial use, and agriculture. Reservoirs created by dams can store large quantities of water for use during dry seasons. Land reclamation. Dams can be used to reclaim land by preventing saltwater intrusion into estuaries and converting marshes into arable land. This function is essential for agricultural development in coastal areas. Water diversion. Dams can redirect water from one area to another for various purposes, such as supplying water to arid regions or facilitating irrigation projects. Water diversion helps address regional water scarcity issues. Flood prevention. Dams control and mitigate flooding by storing excess water during periods of heavy rainfall or snowmelt. Controlled release of water downstream can help prevent downstream flooding. What are the various considerations that experts must keep in mind when building a dam? Permeability of the surrounding rock or soil. The permeability of the foundation and abutments is crucial to prevent seepage and potential failure of the dam. Engineers assess the soil and rock characteristics to ensure they provide a stable foundation. Water table. The water table level in the area affects dam construction and performance. Managing and controlling the water table helps prevent seepage and maintains the stability of the dam foundation. Earthquake faults. Dam sites in seismically active regions need careful evaluation for potential earthquake impacts. Engineers design dams to withstand seismic forces, considering fault lines and the potential for ground shaking. Impact on wildlife, forest, habitats, and river fisheries. The construction of dams can impact ecosystems, including wildlife habitats and river fisheries. Environmental impact assessments are conducted to understand and minimize the ecological consequences of dam projects. Landslides and slope stability. Stability of the dam and its surrounding slopes is critical to prevent landslides. Experts assess the geology and topography to ensure that slopes are stable and won't pose a risk to the dam's integrity. Peak flood flows. Dams must be designed to handle peak flood flows to prevent overtopping and failure during extreme weather events. Hydrologists analyze historical data and conduct studies to determine the maximum expected flood flows. Reservoir silting. Over time, sedimentation or silting of the reservoir can reduce its storage capacity. Engineers consider sedimentation rates and implement strategies to manage and mitigate the impact of reservoir silting. In conclusion, dams are essential for water management, providing benefits like power generation and flood prevention. Constructing various dam types requires careful consideration of factors like soil permeability. Striking a balance between societal needs and environmental preservation is crucial. From ancient marvels to modern hydroelectric plants, the evolution of dam construction is a fascinating journey. Thanks for watching. Like share, subscribe, and share your thoughts below.